Alright, hey guys, it's Cotman one again with part 3 of my uh, tutorial on how to make a Minecraft character rig. So, the last two episodes we were just making this character, this Minecraft character, and it, it's been working pretty, he looks pretty nice, and I'm just going to get started with where today we're going to put in the bones. Give him some bones so that he can move, eventually move around. That'll be in the fourth video. They'll actually connecting the bones to the guy. But today we'll be putting them in. So now, um, sorry if you hear any noises. My brother is probably stubbing his toe on my dog. And yeah, so let's get started. Um, so first of all, we want to connect this guy that we've made. Because first of all, right now... Oh, wait, he is connect he's is he connected? Sorry. Yeah, he is connected. We connected all the pieces of this guy. And so now basically what we want to do to put in the bones is we're going to go Z for wireframe. And then we're going to go in yeah, and then you press A uh once to deselect the mesh. So now what you do is you press shift and A, and then this will come up, and if yeah, or you can just go add up here, and you'll you go to this. Where is it? Armature. Yeah, it, it's here under armature, single bone, and it gives you a bone. And what you want to do is you press G for grab, and then Control, hold Control, so that it stays snapped to the grid. And basically, you just wanted to get right here. This is basically like the pelvic bone here. Selection to grid, you uh, press shift S and selection to grid to make sure that it's all snapped. And now uh, press tab to go into edit mode of these bones. And we'll press control and drag this down a little uh, to make sure make sure it's six pixels of this bone. Yeah, this bone is six pixels. Then we'll press E to extrude a bone and also hold control because so that it stays snapped like this. All right. So now we have basically like the spinal cord, except now if you notice, it's severely messed up. So what we'll do is we'll go into three and for side view, and we'll go we'll select one of the bones by right clicking, and the other one by pressing shift and right clicking, and then we'll drag them over here by pressing this one in control over here, and we'll press shift S. Selection to grid. So now this is inside of him, so which is really good. So now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give him a head bone. And what we can do with that is while we um, while we have this bone selected, press Shift S and, or no, uh, sorry, Shift A, and it'll immediately give us another bone. And with pressing Control, you just drag it up, up here, or press Grab, and... Yeah, it seems about right. Then you press Shift S, selection to grid. Go to the side view, make it, make sure it's where it should be. Now we'll press Tab again to go into edit mode of this, and just drag it down so that it matches the head. So yay! Now we have this first part. So what we're gonna do to make the arms is duplicate this. Shift D. Put this bone over here, and rotate. You rotate. Um, by pressing R, and I'm holding holding Control, so that it's right here, and then make sure it's lined up. Basically like the opposite of this. And what you're going to do now is holding Control still, um, drag it down, then we clip, right click on only this area of the bone, drag it up, and get smaller, and then we'll drag this one down to the bottom of the arm. So now, we have the arm. We have the first arm, uh, we'll, we'll make the other arm by uh, selecting this bone, pressing shift and selecting the other bone, duplicating it, and now we have two arms. Um, now what you want to do to make the legs, you click on his, his pelvic bone, I'm going to call it his pelvic bone, um, and pressing E for extrude and hold control so that it snapped. E control and then, okay so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extrude the legs down so you can also 
I discovered this um, not that long ago that you can actually extrude th two things at once. So we're going to do that. Uh, right click on this area of the bone, then pressing shift and right clicking on that so that you have selected both of them. Then you press E and hold control so that it snapped. Oops, nope. And there, I think that's about, yeah, that's about six down. Then you press E again. Then, so now you have the legs, yay. And now we don't really need pel pelvic bone, so we will extrude it. This poor little man. I'm sorry, bro. So, yes. And this was the first part. And we just added some bones in. And in the next video, we will attach the bones to the guy. Because right now, if we uh, move any of the bones, it won't move with the guy. So that's, that's what we're going to do in the next video. See you in part four. I'm um, Kyla Man 1 here. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Bye.